Today on Sugar Spun Round, we'll be making raspberry lemonade. Hey, Sugar Spun Bakers, Sam here with another super easy, but still carefully tested, well-researched and perfected recipe. Today we are making in my personal opinion, the best lemonade in existence. It's the perfect balance of sweet and tart, the raspberries and the lemon, they work amazingly together. I'm really excited about this one and I hope you are too. So let's get started. The first thing we need is fresh lemons. Please don't use lemon juice for today's recipe. We're going to need one cup of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Now a good way to make sure you're getting as much juice out of your lemons as possible, just roll it firmly between your palm and your countertop, or in my case, my cutting board, before cutting into it and juicing it. I'm not totally sure how many lemons this is going to take. It always seems to vary. It just depends on how juicy and how large your lemons are. You wanna make sure you get everything you can out of each lemon half. We have been having some super hot days here, which I love, but it's just, it's the perfect weather for nice refreshing lemonade. Let's do a couple of these. Now when you're making lemonade, of course you don't want to end up drinking any of the seeds. So you could fish these out now, but eventually we're going to be straining this lemonade through a fine mesh strainer, which I have ready right here. As you can see, that's pretty fine mesh. So it'll catch any seeds. So if you don't feel like fishing them out now, don't worry about it. And I can't reiterate this enough, don't use store-bought lemon juice. Fresh lemons are just always going to taste better. Another lemon. Might end up needing all of these. Almost dropped my knife, that would have been embarrassing. Okay, we're so close. I don't wanna skimp on the lemon, so I'm not going to. I'm just going to put some extra pressure in here. We are gonna to get to one cup using the lemons we have. Getting a little messy, that's okay. All right, we made it to a cup. This is perfect, so let's head over to the stove top now where we will make the simple syrup, the raspberry simple syrup for our lemonade. All right, over on the stove top, grab yourself a small saucepan. And anytime you're making lemonade, you really should be making a simple syrup, which just means we're going to be dissolving the sugar into some liquid, which keeps the sugar from being grainy and gives you a nice, smooth, well-balanced lemonade that's not gritty. So we're going to start with the basic ingredients for a simple syrup, which is one part sugar. We're using one cup of granulated sugar today and one part water. We're just going to add a cup of water. We'll need the rest of this water later. One more splash. Now I like to take advantage of the stovetop process and I'm also going to be cooking my raspberries in the simple syrup as well. Doing this is going to help them break down. It's going to give you a really, really nice, vibrant raspberry flavor. You can use fresh or frozen raspberries, whichever you choose, you're going to want eight ounces of them. Now turn your stovetop heat to medium low and we are going to stir frequently until the sugar is dissolved and the raspberries release their juices. It will be pretty apparent once they've released their juices, everything is going to get very red, very juicy, and the raspberries are going to start breaking down. Don't crank up the heat while you're doing this. I know it can be tempting just to turn everything up to 10 and get it boiling, but that's not what we want. If you do that, your sugar is not going to dissolve properly. Your raspberries are going to end up burning. So just be patient. So while everything's cooking, you'll also want to make sure you have everything you need ready. You'll have your lemon juice ready at this point. Make sure you have a pitcher handy, a heat proof pitcher handy. You're also going to need five cups of additional water in order to make this lemonade. Now at this point, my sugar has dissolved, but my berries are not breaking down yet. So just have patience and keep on cooking them. Now I use sugar for today's recipe. I have tried this recipe substituting a cup of honey for the cup of sugar. It works, just keep in mind that honey has a different flavor than sugar does. So it's just going to taste a little bit more, it tastes a little bit more natural. So I've been stirring for about eight minutes now and my raspberries still aren't broken down quite as much as I want them to. They're super soft and they've basically disintegrated, but you still have some pulp on the seeds. I want this to get a little bit of a richer red and I wanna break it down a little bit more before I strain it. All right, my berries are pretty well broken down. The liquid looks pretty red. I can see a lot of seeds floating, not pulpy bits of raspberry anymore. So I'm comfortable taking this off of the heat. All right, now let's pour this through our fine mesh strainer into a heat proof container. And we want to mash this up, force through as much of that berry juice as possible. 
I just use my spatula to just smear this back and forth. Now, of course, how flavorful your lemonade is is going to depend on how juicy and ripe your berries are. So the fresher, the juicier they are, the better. I have actually found frozen works very, very well with this recipe and I typically get a more vibrant, rich red color if I use frozen berries. So don't shy away from going the frozen route. We don't want any of those seeds or any of that pulp in our lemonade, at least I don't. So we're going to discard this. See, not great, not great looking. Let's get rid of that. I do still need this fine mesh strainer though because Remember, I didn't pick any of those seeds out of my lemon juice, so I'm going to pour this through the strainer as well, right in with the raspberry juice. Oh yeah. This is also going to strain out any lemon pulp. There's usually not very much, but if you want some lemon pulp in there, just skip the step. Just uh, pull your seeds out and you can add the lemon juice, pulp and all. Now, that was quick and easy. The last thing you need is five cups of cold water, and then we'll add the raspberry juice right in here. Oh, oh don't spill it. I chose something with a spout to make pouring easy. You don't wanna waste any of it. That's where all your flavor is. My gosh, oh, that was so unprofessional. We'll just, we'll cover that up. You didn't see anything. Okay, minor disaster aside, our lemonade is really finished at this point. Of course, it's still really warm, and of course, anytime you're serving lemonade, you always want to stir it before serving, just in case anything's settled. So this can go in the fridge until you're ready to serve it, or just fill your glass up with some ice and go ahead and pour. Oh my gosh, I made such a mess. And that is it. That is how you make homemade fresh raspberry lemonade. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe. And if you try this one, please leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. I always love hearing from you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. That is so good. It's like your mouth almost, it puckers a little bit, but, but just a little bit. It's perfectly sweet. It's perfectly balanced. It's sweet, it's tart. That's amazing. You're going to love this. <laughs>